To me, corny means a lack of originality in expression. In other words, silly and overdone. Vince Staples, as a rapper, is the opposite of corny. He doesn't care about what people's personal lives involve. He sleeps when he's tired on tour. He thinks everyone is on the same level in life and that we all die eventually. Yeah, he's a nihilist, but he wants people to love themselves and to find meaning. He wants people to get rid of complex things in life. Look, I still remember that Rolling Stone interview where he said, it's not art if you're not in control of it. Now, I do agree with that. It's interesting because on one hand, you could argue that art has given people power. But on the other hand, and his argument is, is that artists, especially rappers, will never have true respect like other musicians. And that's why he doesn't like the word artist, because he believes that rappers are just entertainers. Now, let that sink in. He just thinks rappers are entertainers, period. They're just to entertain people. Now, I like his nihilistic approach of being realistic about humanity and all the associated natural flaws we have. But take a step back. Vince grew up in poverty. It's different in that situation. The average kid there doesn't dream about the future and being successful. They're preoccupied about getting food on the table, getting to school or even going to school on not being robbed or not being homeless. You gain perspective in that situation on what life really is, right here, right now. Looking at his non-EPs, Summertime 06, Big Fish Theory and FM, they're all radically different. He's not like, say, Party Next Door, whose songs all have a similar vibe. He wants to continue to experiment, not just to surprise fans, but maybe himself. It's when you get in that process of continually pushing yourself that you learn new things. And that novelty, that novelty is what keeps people excited. He always talks about how some people like Childish Gambino or Kanye, etc. have always had projects that sound radically different from the previous. And so with that in mind, he always compares himself to the greats and it's clear he also wants to be among them. And that's why you see such varied collaborations on his work from Kendrick to Billie Eilish to Justin Vernon and the list keeps going. It's because he's able to understand that. For example, the biggest Gorilla song ever has the Dilla Soul Future. So the lines between genres isn't important to him. He knows they just exist to help the consumer filter the massive amount of music out there. He just cares about innate skill. And that's why these collaborations are so great. There's an acknowledgement from him on the business side as well. He knows the merch space grew so much because of pioneering efforts from Tyler that brick and mortar and pop-up stores do have a revenue generation capability. It's interesting that they only work from those who are eccentric enough to have a personality in the industry. For example, Kanye, who has a noticeable footprint in fashion or Drake or Travis Scott. It's also interesting when he explained how he feels nothing by interacting and communicating with the media. He feels nothing. And it all stems from the fact that he'd rather his music not be popular than be secondary to a different ideology. That sense of purity is why he does it. If that didn't exist, then he doesn't want anything else to invade his private space. And listen, I've talked about a ton of rappers who have gone through addiction. Just watch the Danny Brown video for a great example. Billboard's article on Vince headlined, Vince reflects on being dubbed the sober rapper. Reality hurts, but so does addiction. It's not about fitting into cultural norms, it's about doing things because you stay true to yourself. On episode 6 of The Pull Up, he also talks about how he's lost money by going on tour. Yup, lost money. And he says that's because he wants the shows to be truly an experience. For the screens to do crazy things and because he wants sounds in certain areas. He said the only way to make money in reality and in the music is to play the radio game or just get bigger budgets by being a yes man. He knows the truth, but he also invests to get back. That's who he is, and his fans definitely keep coming back. Overall, I think Vince is realistic. I mean, he has the Vince Staples show. He knows his fans are there with him through it all. But he also knows what roads music can lead to, whether that's homelessness or a billion dollar empire like Diddy. And that's why he enjoys the pursuit of other avenues. He's aware and he's willing to let people know.